Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I'm coming to you from Punta Gorda, Florida. Now why the fuck am I in Punta Gorda? Well, because I had to stop and charge my truck on the way to Sarasota. Plus, there's a tiki bar here. And there's a lot of tiki bars here. And it's a Tuesday. So I was like, what's the dumbest thing I can do here while charging? I gotta make it up to Sarasota. Well, I decided I'm going to do a Tuesday Tiki, Tuesday Tiki Trail Transit, whatever. I don't know. I gave it a name. I gave it a name on my phone and I said, this was a good idea. Well, obviously I can't remember it enough. Tuesday Tiki Treasure Trail. Thing is, you know, my truck's over there. It's a long trek. Wouldn't it be nice if I had a way to uh, get where I needed to go a little bit quicker? Some of you may have seen this the other day in another episode. But, yes, that's the secret. We bring up the handlebars, and hopefully, because that's where we need to go a little bit faster. I don't know. Or we just eat it. I mean, we could just eat it too. But yeah, come along as I make this suitcase. Very sad on my Tuesday Tiki Treasure Trail. And our first stop is TT's Tiki Bar. Yes, I'm literally, you guys will think I'm crazy. My fat self is riding on a suitcase. Because why? Because why not? To Tiki's, TT's Tiki Bar, which is in the is a Sheridan, and unfortunately, since I did just get here by my truck, I do need to uh, actually go potty. So, hold on, the road's got bumpy. All right, there we go. And it looks like we gotta bring them back together. And then we'll bring them down. It's dumb, but it's hysterical at the same time. So I take it, and then guess what? We got we got some carry-on luggage. I'm meeting a friend here who's gonna make so much fun for this, but I'm totally down. Yeah, I know what's going on. I'm gonna leave my luggage right here <laughs> while I continue the Tuesday Tiki Treasure Trail at the Tiki Bar. That's what TT stands for. First one, we're gonna see what else we can find tiki bars in this area, but we'll see how this one is first. All right, so for the first drink here, yes, I has bucket. I has bucket, I has bucket, I has bucket. What do I mean by I has bucket? I looked for the most tiki thing I could find, and that was Black Beard's Bucket. $14, Captain Morgan Spice Black Rum, Creme de Banana, another alcohol, pineapple juice, and grenadine. And there's my I has bucket. Let's see if it's any good. We might not move the car. I've heard there's a lot of stuff down here. Oh damn, that's good. That's actually good. Passes for tiki. Probably poolside tiki. Still passes for tiki though. But I, I shout this out. I has bucket. And the guy's like, you can walk down the street. I said, no, my friend, I shall not walk. You don't stay this size by walking. That's all I'm gonna say. It's good. Me and a friend here, I think we're gonna get some food and uh, maybe another bucket. We'll see. TT's, which stands for the Tiki. Very imaginative. Oh. All right, so the first Tiki bar was good. We got some, uh, some nachos, got some pretzels. Met a friend here, so I kept a lot of off a video, a lot of it off a of video. But I will bring the other ones to you on video. But you can see it's almost sunset time. What time is it? It's like it's almost 7:50. Okay, it's almost 7:50, and my friend's goblin is uh, riding my suitcase now. <laughs> he has a driving test tomorrow. <laughs> he has not crashed the suitcase once in the 10-15 minutes he's been driving it. I'm kind of impressed. I'm really impressed, actually. 
So as the sun sets, the Tiki Day continues. I'm just looking for things that have the word Tiki in their name. I'm gonna go there, see if they're shit or not. Uh, that's the name of the game of the Tuesday Tiki Treasure Trail. But so far, TT, which stands for The Tiki Bar. Who the fuck came up with that name? Oh, what? Hi. Yeah, not very creative, Sheridan. Uh, it's a Sheridan Tiki Bar. TT or the Tiki Bar. Where the hell is the kid going? Whose car? Oh my god. Why do you park all the way down there? Oh my god. TT from the Sheridan. It's a thing. If you went to electric car parking, nobody in this damn city uses electric cars because they're all smart enough to have gas. So I don't have to worry about any parking next to me. Oh my god. Bunny. See if the next one. Well, the bunny. I'm gonna go have that later. Oh, don't eat the bunny. No, you don't remember the rabbit tacos? No, I don't. Okay, but I, they're so pretty and cute. Look, there's three of them. Uh, Hello, bunny. Hello, bunny. Who's just gonna eat you? I'm not gonna eat it until later. It's less like three bars from now. Uh -huh. Hello, bunny. Oh my god. All right, there's bunnies. I'm afraid. I'll see you at the next tiki spot. I'm not gonna lie, I look for other tiki bars around here and bad news. The next one's the next big town over. The good news is there's uh, three of them. So we're gonna go to Dive Liquor and Wine, which has a secret tiki bar in the back. Grab a secret tiki drink there. Then we're gonna go to, um, if we can get into Pangea Alchemy Lab, I think we can. It's a Tuesday night. And now we're gonna try and go over to the Bai Hut. And then I got a couple more places after that, but uh, we, we are at uh, 8.06 p.m. Spent a little too much time with my friend there, um, but it's okay. That's the name of the game. Like, the good news is the next three are near each other. So we're leaving um, uh, Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte, and North Port. Head to the next big city, which is Sarasota. It's about a 35 minute drive to a liquor store that has a hidden tiki bar in the back of it. So um, stay tuned as we make it over that way. But that's all I'm saying. Be with you in a moment. Well, a little bit. Oh, Wayne Newton. It's gonna be my birthday. Ooh, playing down here. Mr. Las Vegas. Okay, just on a billboard. We're a little slower. We should have probably turned around. Watch, see what happened there. Okay, no. We're good. Yeah, we're back on track. I gotta go off of this and start paying attention to directions. See you in a minute. All right, so for our next unique stop of the night, we're in Sarasota, not quite downtown Sarasota yet, and there's a liquor store. It's called Dive Wine and Spirits. It's legitimately what it seems. It's a liquor store, but they have some secret bars and stuff inside this liquor store. It's open until 11 p.m. Let's see which one's uh, up and running tonight. If the one in the back's running, okay. So that one is working. That I think is the Spanish bar. Let's try to see what else we've got. Oh, I think the tiki bar in the back is open. This is the one to go into. Yup, yup. And you can see if you go in, this is literally a legitimate liquor store. And then there's a, oh, do not close. There used to be an old door there, but this, this is probably the best tiki bar on the west coast of the state of Florida. And it's literally hidden in the back of a liquor store. Let's get a tiki drink and move on. I don't know if I can fit through that hole, but we'll try. So I got one of their originals, which is called a Screamer, which has represented tequila, a curacao, ancho reyes, chili liquor, lime super juice, Lime super juice. Weird. Simple. Yep. Mango, <laughs> serrano, and Hawaiian lava salt. I'm trying to hit all the tiki like bars on the west coast tonight. So I'm going to uh, Pangea after this. And then. Uh, Pangea downtown? Yeah, Pangea downtown. Tuesday night's not that big of a disaster due to Pangea. Which one? Barhana. What's that one? It's on Palm. It's like actually tiki style. Downtown? Or? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, on Palm. 
Okay, I'll have to yeah. try that. Is it walkable from Pangea or no, not really? Yes and no, but there's the Palm Avenue or Palm Street, whatever, um, parking garage. Like oh, there's right, a garage right, right there. Above it. Yeah. Ooh, okay, uh, I'll have to look at that. That's more tiki than Pangea for sure. And it's easy, it's a bigger venue and everything like that. I might skip Pangea no, it's like then. It's the same size, but like totally tiki. Guys. Okay, like I guess that, I'm gonna go there. I guess I'm gonna replace yeah. Pangea. Barhana. Yeah, I know it's a Tuesday night, so I'm racing a clock. Uh, okay. for, no, I'm, I'm racing the midnight oh. clock for not you, not for, for you. No, I was gonna say for them. Uh, Barhana's late or? Think midnight. Yeah, I was say like them and the other one are midnight. Yeah, I'll call them. So this is the seasonal one. This is the spicy one, right? Yep. yep. Not traditionally tiki, but also not traditionally not tiki. Tiki, um, but like if you want tiki, I just oh, no, have a bitter mai tai. And oh, I'm gonna get something to tiki with too. Oh, it's good. Very spicy. Nice little tiki layout here. Look, I got this. Yeah, I got a dive original. Because it's the name of this bar. It's a dive bar. It's a dive liquor and spirits, as you saw. Um, I'm going to get some from the tiki menu. We'll do some research on that one downtown. And we'll see. Right, that last drink wasn't tiki. We were at a tiki bar. We're actually changing the rest of the schedule for night. So hula hula aka aka lakanahi. Um, yeah, we've only got time for one or two drinks at each bar. Don't worry, each tiki drink is worth a few. And um, she substituted the gin in here with mezcal. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hula hula laka laka akanawi. Go. So, um, the good news is, I got two brand new tiki bars we're gonna go to tonight. Then we'll finish at the buy hut, but my god, these bendy straws. It's a quadruple bendy straw. Oh, oh, that's nice. Hula, hula, haka, What do you think? Oh, that's good. You like it? That's good. Um, what, what's in it other than the, uh, so it's other than the mezcal? Mezcal, lime juice, or sorry, lemon juice, pineapple juice, orgeat, um, and Peychaud's bitters. Okay, what is Peychaud's bitters? Never heard of that one. It's, what's uh, the flavor there? Oh, I don't have the, oh, maybe I have the real bottle. Peychaud's bitters. Is it tiki bitter or? Nope. Okay. So it's aromatic cocktail bitters. Hmm. That's pretty damn cool. This is a great little tiki bar. Um, and you know, I was gonna go downtown, but uh, yeah, the uh, hula hula aka aka lolly lolly. Uh, I got two new, two new tiki bars to uh, to check out. So uh, we're gonna go to next. We're gonna go not to Barhana. Barhana's not next. Next, we're gonna go to Forbidden Tiki, which is near the beach, and then we'll go to Barhana next. It has a parking garage near it, and then we'll go to the Bai Hut. It is a Tuesday night, so we're chasing tiki waterfalls. Uh, we went from a beach tiki bar to a tiki bar in the back of a liquor store, so I don't know what the next tiki bar is going to be. So yeah, we've got uh, some other places to head, but this seems to be uh, in the, this is the same place. This is where they do the Taco Tuesday. So they got the Taco Tuesday there. And again, yeah, it's just a liquor store. I mean, they do sell frozen stuff and chips and all that, but it's literally just a liquor store. Nothing more, nothing less. See, dive, spirits, and liquor. Next time we're going out to the beach. Uh, let me see where we're going. I put in two. Um, not sure which one we're going to. First, oh, we're going to Forbidden Tiki. So jump along with me. I'm one tiki drink deep, two tiki drinks, two tiki drinks deep. We're good. You know, we even got, oh, I added that today. I can actually take you there. I take you there. One of my seatbelt falls outside. I don't think I'm gonna take you there though. Cause I gotta focus too much where the hell I'm going to take you there. So I won't take you there. See you there. 
So remember, uh, that was technically Tiki Bar number two. It is 9.22 p.m. right now. Tiki Bar's gonna do their last call around 11.15 or so. We've got three more to go to. Um, five Tiki Bars in one night. It's a little nuttier than I thought. But can we hit five unique Tiki Bars? We went from an outside Tiki Bar to a Tiki Bar inside of a liquor store. Um, I mean, uh, I gotta say, the, the, the second tiki bar was classier than the first one. The first one we just did, we drank from buckets. But it's always great when one tiki bar is four minutes away from the other tiki bar. So I can't complain. It's actually two minutes away. It says 1.6 miles. Um, 0.2 miles, they set us out near the beach. We're going towards Sarasota. And now stick with me, 1.4 miles. Now I love tiki, so here's what I'm gonna try and do. Um, try and get something really fucking weird, and then you get a tiki drink at each of these tiki bars. Just kind of see. Uh, we have removed Pangea Alchemy Lab and replaced it with two other tiki bars. I love Pangea Alchemy Lab. It's probably one of my favorite speakeasies, but the Forbidden Tiki speaks to me. Brand new tiki bar that I've literally never heard of before. And then there's the Bar Hut, uh, which is another tiki bar which um, they both have convenient parking. Right now, when you're trying to do a challenge, parking is probably what you're looking for most of all. I am totally loving my mount I made for a video I made this morning. Um, magnifique, I have now French for some reason. Forbidden Tiki is coming up. We are on US one. Uh, yeah, looks like US one. Um, we're on US one. And in 0.9 miles, we've got a ticket bar. So let us, um, I'll show you exactly where it is. I, I like this one because it has its own self-contained parking lot, supposedly. Also, you know, I am going to be friggin' floored on a Wednesday, not a Wednesday night, Tuesday night, if I got to wait for any of these tiki bars. Remember the first tiki bar I rode into on a suitcase. The second one, I walked through a freezer door at a liquor store. Who the hell knows what's gonna go on for the third, the fourth, the fifth. First time I went to the fifth Tiki bar that we're gonna go to today, there was a all, everyone was dressed as Elvis. I didn't understand it. Um, oh, here we go. No, that's not it. That is, someone told me there was a giant shark out front of the Tiki bar. So I was like, okay, cool, there's a giant shark. So I saw the giant shark, and I was like, hmm? Forbidden Tiki, 350 feet. What the hell is this? I got leather gallery, aqua golf. Oh, this is interesting. I see Siesta Key Aqua Adventures. Well, this is a Maybe it's behind this. That is, does not look like a tiki bar. There's Aqua Adventure. Come with me and you'll see a whole world of what the fucking nation. This is why you don't go looking for a new tiki bar. First time in a year, let me turn it around. Maybe we'll find a tiki bar. I did see a shark. Oh, hold up. They did say it's kind of like a, kind of like a speakeasy. I don't see anything that would really be a tiki bar. Um, forbidden tiki. I mean, I saw the shark. I did see the shark. That is an interesting one. There are people parked here. Is it actually like a true speakeasy? Cause I'd be down for that. Like, you have arrived. Forbidden Tiki. Hopefully my car don't get broken into here. But we're gonna keep this running. We're gonna see if we can find it. There's a aqua jet ski rental 
That's why you come along with me. Okay. I saw, like, I literally saw some bar signs. Siesta Key Aqua Adventures. And next to Siesta Key Aqua Adventures, there was literally like, there's some booze signs. It says open. Did we just find a tiki bar we should not have found? Or um, am I on a wild goose chase? It literally says leather gallery on top. Yeah, that's not open, but I, I swear, this is why you come along with Richie for Mr. No Pants. Who's losing his pants? I could be wrong. I could be crazy. But it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. All right, come on. Tell me I'm not crazy. I drove by this place. Yammerpock, Corona. This bud's for you. Siesta Key. Oh, shit. I believe I found a hidden tiki bar. A legitimate hidden tiki bar. Congratulations and welcome to tiki bar number three. The forbidden tiki. That is a interesting find. It's on like a mini golf course. Holy crap. That's really cool. Good, good. I drove by this place like three times. Yeah. So that's uh, someone said, oh, especially those are your tiki drinks. Yeah. All right. What's your best one? Come on, be honest with you. Best one is the Forbidden Mai Tai. Forbidden Mai Tai then. All right. I shall take your Forbidden Mai Tai. She takes some pictures of, oh my God, this is incredible. Look at this. Oh, genius. It's literally in the back of like a aqua rental center and gem mining. They've got a, ah, uh, I'm gonna have to turn on low light. Take this again to show you what's going on in here. I'm in Sarasota right by the beach at an aqua adventures excursion center. And if you go all the way to the back, there's a hidden tiki bar. Yes, the forbidden tiki. I guess you can get laid at the door because why not? Um, it's beautiful. Really, really nice looking. They got the Admiral's Lounge and everything like that. And I've got my drink coming up. You got some uh, skulls and there's a giant mini golf hole here, which is funny. It's actually a really beautifully designed tiki bar. And I asked which drink to get. And he said, well, you gotta get the, what is that, the Forbidden Mai Tai, three rums, triple sec, fresh squeezed lime, PJ, and coconut, what is PJ? Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice, okay. That was like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> That's, I was really somewhat confused. I don't know if you want that there. I don't know, sometimes. Sometimes we got PJ, pineapple juice. How long has this been around? Seven months. Seven months, hidden in the back of a tourist store during the day, correct? Right, right. Brilliant. So they have a quite an interesting menu here. I got me a uh, Mai Tai. Oh no, it just focuses here. I got a Mai Tai here uh, and uh, no, no worries. It, does, it only focuses close. And I've got a King Richard's Richard. Don't worry. Little uh, pineapple puree went down the throat there. I'm getting one more here. King Richard's Richard. Ring out, move on. We got two more to hit. All right, so next up we've got the King Richard's Richard, which uh, that's Richard. I'm Richard. This is the King Richard's Richard. It seems like it seems like a um, a Moscow Mule, but passion fruit. Yeah, but I, I do I do love Moscow Mules. 
Ooh. It's a passion fruit Moscow mule. I'm not against that. Problem is, we got two more tiki bars to go to. So, I'm gonna have to take a rain check on a third or fourth train. Because I got two more tiki bars we gotta get to before they close out. Alright, so for tiki bar number four, I had to park uh, the two hour parking. Looks uh, relatively safe here. Pineapple intersection. Uh, we are headed to bar. It's a two-hour bar. It's a beautiful day. Let it slip away. I guess we're gonna stay on the on low light for the rest of the night. <laughs> Turn off my do do not disturb. In case my car alarm goes off. I know. Uh, where are we going? We are going to Farhana. This is a three-minute walk. Oh. It's back there. My first watch. That was a popo. Oh. I'll say that. Liking popos right now. Turn here. Okay, those people are just getting to their car. Not stealing mine. And then we are going to take a left right here. This is going to be a one and done drink spot because we got to make it to Bar Hut for the uh, happy hour. Oof. Huh. Huh. That looks like I'm going to Pangea Alchemy Lab. Just saying. But Pangea Alchemy Lab is not a true tiki bar so that's why we can't go there so we're gonna go here to the uh <laughs> bar something bar hot bear here by who bar high right there they said there was a parking garage right there i don't want to deal with the parking garage so let's see if we can uh get in there get a drink order hit our fourth tiki bar of the evening I'll be back with you when I find the entrance. And then we have one more tiki bar. I think we can make it to one more. One drink here. One more tiki bar. One more tiki bar. I think we got it. When I get to the bar, I mean, it says this one minute away. So I'll stand with you. This is one of those that you're like, Hey, Rich, I'm glad you turned on the low light here. This is the kind of places I take you. I saw my lay from my last place. It's industrial and everything like that. It doesn't look too dangerous. They were going to the right right here. Yep. On Palm Avenue. And can we find our place? Oh, that's Palm Deli. Oh, oh, oh I think I found it. So what happens if you come along with me? This is the bar. And then like Bar Hana, Tiki Bar. Oh. There we go. Ooh, very nicely designed and everything like that. And very nicely air conditioned. And it looks like they have a uh, slushy or a dole whip. Good, good. Trying to focus on that a la Roja. Is that your main drink that you got? Or that's our specialty cocktail. That's your specialty cocktail of the week. Okay. What is your specialty cocktail of the bar? Specialty of the bar, I would say all of these on this cocktail page here, but our most popular is that mainland margarita or our Frankie's Mai Tai. Frankie's Mai Tai then. Where's the bathroom right, here while you... down the back hallway over there. All right, thank you very much. All right, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom and we will come out and try the Frankie's Mai Tai at Tiki Bar number four of this same evening. We're gonna make it. We're gonna survive this. I think, maybe. Who knows? All right, so I ordered a rock shrimp tempura from Kojo, which is uh, tied up with this uh, Barhana. 
uh, here, and I got their drink, their signature drink, which was the, um, oh god, it's not frozen, it's the uh, Mai Tai, there's a Mai Tai there, that they've got there, um, so, we got it in one of them really nice little glasses there, so, again, not nothing unique glass-wise, but let's see how the Mai Tai is. That's a good Mai Tai. It almost, almost tastes like a painkiller, but is it intrinsically a Mai Tai? The nice thing is you come during the week, parking is pretty easy to find here, look. There are so many souls here. I'm gonna, I got some rock, rock shrimp. I do love me some rock shrimp. Um, what I get? I don't like sushi. Starters, Florida rock shrimp tempura, spicy ponzu mayo, lemon zest, served over greens. Fried rock shrimp, delicious. So I'm gonna have, this was the Frankie's Mai Tai or no, your own? Frankie's Mai Tai. Yeah. Frankie's Mai Tai, all right. So Frankie's Mai Tai's got uh, Chinese spice rum, Curacao, Orjot, lime, top with the passion fruit from, which they make in-house with the chefs next door-ish, yeah. Next door ish. Oh, yeah. And they have a strawberry daiquiri pina colada machine. That's for the white girls. That's for the white girls that don't know what they're drinking. Sorry. I will say those are stocked with rum in the machine itself, so they are very. Oh, amazing. I go on enough cruises to know what's in the machine. And then you put a floater on top? You can if you like, yeah. Oh, no, I'm good. No. The, uh, I have to make it to the buy hut. Oh, shoot, yeah. So Five in one night. Those have the base of the Abathon estate, and then we back it up with this Ray and Nephew. It's 126 proof rum. Over proof to make it rum. Oh, good. Inside the machine? Already in there, yep. Oh, good God. And then the daiquiri gets an extra bit of uh, Grand Marnier in there to kind of give it an extra little orange taste. They're trying to kill people here. I say that in a, in a, in a loving way. Yeah. But they're trying to kill people here. Go I'm going to ask you because you have a bar that, say, that says you can serve a glass of water. You got some water when you get a chance. Do, Thank yes. you. I'll we'll grab some water. Because if you're going to do five tiki bars, I started in Punta Gorda oh, at the, uh, the TT Tiki Bar. I don't even know if you've ever heard of it. Nope, never. It's like on the water tiki bar. I met a friend there and then I went over to, this is number four. All right. I went over to the, uh, the one nice. that was in the, um, oh, is this number four? Yeah, this is number four. Yeah. This is number four. Just making sure the math is right. Now, because the one of the ones were weird. A bunch of the one that was inside of, you know the one that's inside of the liquor store? Yeah. Dive Liquors? Yes, yeah. Then I went to the one that's in the tourism store. You know about that one? No, what's that one? I have it here. They, the guys in the, the dive store told me to come to this one and the tourism store. You ever heard of Forbidden Tiki? I have heard of Forbidden Tiki, It's yeah. in a tourism store. Okay. It's in like a place that sells jet skis for the day. What do you go through, like a back closet or something? You do. Nice. I passed by it four times. Yeah. And I'm trying I, to get in yeah. I was like, why is there a jet ski store selling tiki <laughs> stuff? You like rev a jet ski and it opens? No, but you have to walk through like a, you have to walk through a, a fake gold panning thing that you do with kids during the day and something like that. In the back, you see those forbidden tiki. All right. And they've been here for about uh, six months less than you have. All right, cool. And I sent it to my Tiki friends, and I sent this name and the name of the forbidden. They go, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. All that's there is the Pangea Alchemy Lab, the Buy Hut, and the one in the, in the uh, liquor store. I go, just you wait. Oh, yeah. All right, so we have the rock shrimp tempura along with the uh, Frankie's Mai Tai. This is rock shrimp, supposedly. Give it a try. Mm. For food, are they slightly overpriced for three shrimp? Yeah. They're good shrimp, but they're also overpriced for it. Again, I do this so you don't have to. Mm. 
Mark. It's coming from Kojo. So this is a uh, husband and wife that own literally, they bought this entire building. Back with Jonathan City Block. Um, I appreciate that. I'm not gonna lie. This is bar number four. It was the weakest of the four so far. We got Bi Hut coming up next. If you know anything about Bi Hut, it's a big statement. It's okay. Okay. Not incredible. Just kind of okay. Buy cuts the last tiki bar of the night, and then we'll hit five tiki bars in one night. One, two, three, four, five. In one night. Thumbs up. Let's see if we hit it. Let you know. We only got one more left. Alright, so I'm not gonna lie. Of the places I've been so far, <laughs> Barhana is the worst. I can make bullshit inside. Barhana is the worst of the places I've been so far. This is all owned by one owner. I, I, I assume it's all insufferably terrible. But, um, I'll go one more place for my night. It is uh, 1041. Ugh. I feel like I'm going to Pangea Alchemy Lab. Just based on the fact that this is an alley. We're not at Pangea Alchemy Lab. <laughs> I would know that alley. But um, we got the car parked right down there. The Bai Hut. The oldest uh, living tiki bar in the area. So um, we're going to check it out. And then we're going to go some places up until 2, 3. Or who knows? It's on the beach, so they're open till they're open. But let's go to the Bai Hut now. I'm not gonna lie to you. The first time I went to the Bai Hut, my experience was miserable because <laughs> there was an Elvis conference in town. I brought my lady friend at the time, and she was like, "What the fuck is this place?" Because uh, <laughs> it was literally filled with people claiming to be Elvis and drinking Bud Light. But the Bai Hut is a very, very, very famous tiki bar that's on the, uh, it's on the beach. So we're going to go ahead and have a drink of the Bai Hut that will finish our five tiki bar trifecta. Did I ever expect to actually succeed in this challenge tonight? Fuck no. Did I? I mean... We don't really know yet. So stay tuned. That place smells like piss I just went by. A couple reasons it could smell like piss. Oh, I see my truck. I'm hoping there's no broken windows. I'm hoping there's no broken windows. I'm hoping there's no broken windows. It's all we want. I mean, I don't see it making noise. So it's telling me there's no broken windows. My hut. It's the last of the tiki bars. Oh, don't worry. We got places to go after the tiki bars. But, buy hot tiki and cocktail lounge, nine minutes away, which means we should make it long before the last call. And yes, according to the math right now, turn on my, wait, what's that say? I didn't like that. By hunt, yeah. It closes at 12 a.m. We're good. 10.44. Thought it gave me a closing warning. No. I think we're going to get one more there. I have all my windows. Oh, thank God. And my walls. And the, the sweat drops. Down my balls. We got a nine minute ride. I'm gonna let the camera recharge and then I'm gonna ride 
can't believe I built a mount for a camera here, but also kind of proud. Look, Ma, no hands. Um, any GPS would have my hut. So let's, uh, let's try and get to the by hut and I will see you there. What I do find nice is once you get to Sarasota, all these places are literally five minutes apart or less. Um, we've been to a lot of tiki bars tonight. We got one more tiki bar, plus some late night stuff. It's not gonna be a tiki bar. It's a Tuesday night. Holy shit. Did we really hit five? I mean, we're not there yet. We're not there yet, I think, unless, unless a spark plug on the electric truck dies. I'm driving a fucking overpriced golf cart. Um, sorry. <laughs> Nothing's gonna go wrong with an overpriced golf cart. Uh, we got four minutes or 2.4 miles till we get to the last of the five tiki bars in the area. So we'll talk about a tea bar we can head tomorrow. But that's the last of the five tiki bars. I, I swear, I love this car mount. This car mount is amazing. I used it this morning. I'm falling in love with it more every single day is that I can just dock a camera here. I'm wearing a microphone. I can talk to you. I can tell you truths. I can tell you lies. I can tell you everything. I got a scammer texting me on my phone. I can see 1844 something. Yeah, come on. It's a scammer. It's a scammer. So we're gonna turn uh, on Remington Drive in 1.5 miles. And I'm going to take you to the buy hut. That concludes five friggin'. Hey, look, number one on the beach. We saw the sunset. It was cute. Was it really a tiki bar? Technically, it served me a run rum forward drink with juices in it. Yeah, that is a tiki bar. Banana rum, Malibu rum. It was in a bucket. And it's 32 ounces, and I still have the bucket somewhere to my right. But I don't want to grab it because it'll distract my driving, and I'm actually driving really well. So we got three minutes. Um, yeah. Hey, those of you who watch this channel regularly, is it much easier to just uh, walk from bar to bar on the ship? Yes, it is. But if you want to hit multiple tiki bars in one night, the West Coast seems to be your place. I've not changed this shirt. I, I've looked like a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob SquarePants. I picked up a lay. I've got my captain's hat I have on. Um, 1.2 miles. I know it's on this road-ish, um, but we're trying to get to the Bai Hut, which is the oldest, most famous tiki bar in Sarasota. And I think we'll get there long, long before. I mean, I'm saying intrinsically, long before their last call. Uh, point zero four. We're going to Remington Drive. Oh, there it is. The Golden Host Resort on the Bai Hut. We're going to make a weird ass U turn. I don't know why I didn't do it there, but right here. Not sure why it's like. You can't take a U-turn here. No. Of course I can, but maybe not. That's a tight turn for a truck. Um, we won't buy it. All right, come on. Ooh. Some of these streets are really, really, really not made for trucks. I'm just saying. They're tiny, tiny, on the street, little uh, beach bar things. Let's go ahead. Here it is. This is the Golden Host Resort, home to the Bayat. Let's go ahead. Let's tuck in. I have arrived. Is that an exit only? I don't think so. We're at the Bai Hut, which is our last tiki ca 
cocktail lounge of the day. And that makes it number one, two, three, four, five of the day. Did we go to five tiki bars? Five unique tiki bars in one day? Well, shit, we haven't been served this one yet. I'll see you inside. All right, so I think this is actually the oldest continuous operating tiki bar in Florida. This is the Bai Hut. Pretty famous tiki bar again. I had a really bad experience the first time I came here because everybody was dressed like Elvis. Yeah, so this is Florida's oldest tiki bar since 1954. We'll go in a minute and I'll show you inside. All right, so we're at the Bai Hut. B A H I H U T. There's a giant spoon to get in. Got a tiki god there. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, so, oh, Golden Horse Resort. We oh, got some good stuff there. Good, good. There he is, man. What's up, Captain? All right. Just trying to remember what to order here. No, not right now. Later. Yeah. What's the strongest drink you got? The Mai Tai. Let's go for it. All right. All right, so we got a Mai Tai here. Captain's here, man. The captain, captain, the captain is here. The first time I was here was Elvis Festival. That was the first time I was here. That was a long time ago. You know the Elvis Festival? Yes, sir. I walked in here for the first time, Elvis Festival. Yeah. They only reserve them Bud Light and Disappointment. That's it. Is the bathroom back that way? That way? Still the same. Okay, I don't remember. All right, you got it. This is the fifth tiki bar of the night. Number five. They think the captain's crazy. But you done been with the captain the whole time. I'm not showing you my tallow lacquer. Oh, but we got the men's bathroom. And uh, I... I'm gonna take care of business. See you in a minute. All right, so we got the Mai Tai here. This is the Bai Hai Mai Tai. I am perfectly disguised. I say disguised, I say that lovingly. Look at this. Holy shit. I drive an electric car. But that shit's basically gasoline. Woo, woo. It's got a uh, world famous secret till the end of time. Limit two. Should be a limit one on that motherfucker. But um, we got places and things to go. But guess what? I have to sip of this. I have to sip of this. You know that makes it five tiki bars in one night. Try meet that shit, assholes. Love you. I say assholes. Lovely. Yeah, I'm at the Bai Hut right here. It's not the uh, fanciest tiki bar in Florida, but it's the oldest tiki bar in the state of Florida. Let's see. We've got indoor and if we go through here, outdoor seating. And you know what they have that other people don't have? They have a hotel attached to it. So, you know, if you uh, tiki too hard, there's a hotel. This is the Golden Host Resort. But uh, the first time I came here, the Bai Hut, it wasn't a great experience. <laughs> Why? Because it was like Elvis night at the Bai Hut. Literally Elvis night. Everyone was dressed as Elvis and drinking Bud Light. But uh, elsewise, god damn, there are tiki drinks here. They are strong. Just be aware. We went to two brand new tiki places tonight. Oh. Plus the buy hunt. The night is not yet over. We've got the... Uh, where are we going next? The Mabel Bar and Grill. It's like a mile away. Minute drive. But I'll see you at the Mabel. Maybe I'll have one more here. This drink is the strongest drink I've had all night. Nine bucks. Strongest drink I've had all night. By far. It's not good. It tastes like gasoline. But uh, 
for nine bucks. Can I really complain? No, I can't. It tastes like gasoline. All right, so I had another drink here. It's coming. It's slightly less gasoline. I'm gonna close out with this. It's called a sneaky tiki. Nope. Unknown to mere mortals. It's Enter the other realm, boss. Slightly less than the last one, though, right? Slightly less. Slightly, slightly less gasoline than the last one. Slightly, yeah. I gotta make it like 0.9 miles down the road. You're, you'll be good. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. <laughs> We're getting a sneaky cheeky here at the Bai Hai. It's a Bai Hut. Bai Hut. Not Bai Hai. That was downtown. Sorry. The Polynesian expression is Bai Hai. Bai Hai. Bai Hut. Bai Hai Hut. Bai Hai Hut. This is the oldest one in Florida that's still since existing yeah. since 54. This is before Disney pulled the sticky bullshit in uh, 71, right? Fucking jackass. Jackasses. <laughs> Walt Disney was a Nazi. Yeah. I said it out loud. I don't care. Uh, that's the right answer to get you out of the parking lot. Sneaky jiggy. So start with the uh, by hut Mai Tai. And you go down one step to the sneaky tiki. Ooh. They're both basically gasoline. It's gonna take a couple hours to recover after this. I'm just saying. Get some food, get some beer. At the, um, where are we going to after this? We're going to the, uh, the Mabel. Mabel's got food, the Mabel's got drink. The Mabel's got to be here. I was there six months ago. I was there in October 28th of 2023. Last time I did this, I was headed up to go on the Carnival Paradise. I mean, I didn't know it until like two days after I was at the Mabel. But I went to the Carnival Paradise and I dressed as Fiona for Thanksgiving. Also, there's like a creepy smile behind me. But uh, yeah, start with the uh, the Bai Hai Mai Tai, and then go to the Sneaky Tiki. I can't tell you what's in it, because guess what? They don't even fucking know. Bai Hai Mai Tai. Focus. And then we got Sneaky Tiki. Focus. But, but I mean, it's strong. So don't mess around with the Bai Hai Mai Tai and the Sneaky Tiki. Out of these last five stops, last four stops, I mean, this is the strongest drinks by far. Are the tastiest? Ooh. The tastiest is gonna go to that, um, the one that's inside of the bar. Hmm. But we gotta stop soon after the Mabel because we gotta we gotta be wide awake and early for the Ringling Museum at ten o'clock tomorrow morning. But we just getting started. It is uh, eleven twenty four p.m. Eastern time. Let's see where this night takes us. Hey, look, even after tip. These were the cheapest drinks of the night by far, and the strongest drinks too. That's water. A little bit of drink left over, and that's just pure water. Yeah, I have to say, I didn't like this place the first time I was here. But the Bai Hut is the best tea bar on the west coast of Florida. Is it super inventive? No. If you want a true tiki bar, they're serving it in plastic cups. But I mean, oh, they got they got drinks there. Sure, before they get the last call. Um, but you know, just talk about what the drinks are. Here. The buy hunt. That is the name of the game when it comes to tiki. But we need some fried food to wake us up. So we're gonna go next. 
to the Mabel. And I will see you there. Just water. You gotta stay hydrated. You must stay hydrated. <laughs> That bartender knows what's going on. When you do all five tiki bars in the West Coast ish, slightly below um, Sarasota and the other ones in one night. Well, I'm not closing an eye yet. We might get there. We'll see. Stay tuned. I'm not closing this shit yet. We still got some more time. Stay tuned. All right, so we are now leaving. The fifth and last tiki bar here, the Bai Hut, Florida's oldest tiki bar since 1954. Problem is, we need some food. It's down the road. We gotta sober up from the Bai Hut. So I'm gonna jump to the magic truck, take it right down the road, and we're not done yet. We got beer, we got food, we got all that town at the, the Mabel down the road. So stay tuned, I will catch you at the Mabel. Shh, see you there. Look, I swear I was coming up from the Mabel, and this is a guy, there was a guy wearing a bulletproof vest. Why? It's a fucking Tuesday night. But, you know, to each their own. Gonna go out, see the Mabel. No one else is parked here but the Mabel. There's literally a guy. You're thinking I'm kidding, aren't you? You're like, no pants is bullshitting about the Bulletproof S guy. This is all about Mabel parking. Mabel, 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 Mabel. But, oh, it smells like fried food and deliciousness. But I swear, there was a guy here seconds ago. We're going to bulletproof vest with ammo and everything. Oh shit, I wish I was recording. I really wish. I've been in the Mabel before. They got good food, they got good drinks, especially on a Tuesday night. And they're like three quarters of a mile down the road from the uh, Dicky Bar? Where is Mr. Willow Vest? Oh, there he is. Y'all thought I was kidding. Oh, he's there. There is. The guy keeping us safe here. I was over the tiki bar, yeah. and I thought I thought I imagined a guy in a bulletproof vest, but he's right there. Yeah. Hey, what, what you doing with that big old car right there, man? That's a that's a big ass car you drive. It's electric. Man, that's boogie, big, boogie, boogie, boogie. Hey, that, that big. Hey, that bit look like a limousine. That's a damn that big. Can't yeah, know. If you guys thought I was kidding, that's security. You're securing this place. The internet thought I was making this up. They said if there's not a guy with a bulletproof vest, respect. Respect. He is keeping us secure. That's all we want. Y'all are like, this guy's crazy. No, no, I'm not crazy. There's a guy in a bulletproof vest with friggin' guns and ammo. But, um, this is the Mabel. Let me be very clear. This is not a tiki bar. This is a bar bar. But this is how you enter your night in Sarasota. So I'm gonna get some greasy food. I'll show you the greasy food. I'm gonna get some beer because like every four beer, even the clear. We haven't had any beer. You're for liquor and never been sicker. Um yeah. We're gonna have some drinks. I didn't make up that guy in the the uh, the bulletproof vest. We got a whole uh, whole group over here. We'll also play saxophone, and singing, everything on a Tuesday night. It is a Tuesday night. So, oh, 
And there's a mystery beer here. So we'll see what we can. So we got food wise and I got So we are at the Mabel. It is midnight. Uh, they had funny kegs to kill from actually my local brewery. Just three sons. I don't see anything from three sons right now. They've had a lot of stuff in three sons before. I got I got a strawberry, uh, strawberry kiwi uh, beer. That's package list. There we go. Wicked weed, strawberry kiwi, fruited sour from Asheville, North Carolina. Oh. And a chili cheese dog. Close at midnight. It is currently 12.02.02. Where do you go when all Dinky Bars close? You come here. Just say it. You get a strawberry. What do we got? Strawberry kiwi burst. 4.5%. So much less than what I've been drinking for hours. Isn't she one? It's a Tuesday night. All right, baby. I don't know. I got a chili cheese dog. Oh, there we go. I got a chili cheese dog, tater tots. That'll sober me. Hopefully, right up. Chili yeah. cheese dog. Elderberry, watermelon. Some tater tots, cheese, and everything. Oh. Oh. This is the tater tots are incredible. My dog. Done with half. We'll go to the tater tots first. Oh. So good. Oh. Love. I've never even heard of that. No, I can't. Peter Thompson, I didn't They're a step above. I've been doing this 15 years. Never heard of that. Park Oh, yeah, you know Hey, I know some of you are Will you? Will he? Will he? New home law. Good luck. I'm a dog. No street jingle. I'm not so all the way up to that hand. It's not as good. Yeah, I don't sound like a Every time I say thank Thank you to the martini barn. Like my man grows grows a little. She comes to Grand Avenue. Just say. Why y'all wait for the very last second for order? Last second. We got more drinks coming up.
on the sun. At 12.32 a.m. here at Maybell's in St. Martyrs. St. And Oh shit. Did you guys get pickle bags? No, you made it. Yeah. Don't ask me. Uh, works for, um, he works for, um, red lobster. Red lobster. What I find useful here is each uh, lady's pad is juice. So you have a pocket for later. Should you need it, or the ladies need it. They have it. It's an emergency gotcha system. We are here at, uh, I don't know where you are, honestly. We are here at, uh, Maribel! Maribel! Food and drink together. That's the uh, takeout area. Live music. It's uh, 12.50 in the morning. Have we survived? I think we have. We'll wrap it up in the truck a little bit of time. Hey, you know what? Uh, we are headed out. This is um, Richard for No Pants Profits visiting uh, three, three tiki parts and one non-tiki part. I really don't know why there's a guy wearing a bulletproof vest here and a lot of, a lot of guns. Y'all think I'm making this up? I am not. I'm getting the hell out of this parking lot. This is the uh, Consulting International. This is Richard from No Pants Profits reminding you that when you wear no shirt, Oh, no pants. All right. Y'all know no pants. That's my shirt called there. The only thing you got left to lose is your shirt. And also, this guy who we put on the way in, he don't fuck around. So Richard from No Pants Profits reminding you, don't lose your shirt or your pants or anything like that. Have a great one. And I... Going to find somewhere oh, to call the night. Have a great one. Bye. Yep. Have a good one. It's Richard from No Pants Profits. Going to uh, eight tiki bars. Let's one more bar. Let's make one more bar. Let's make extra tiki drinks at each. Reminding you when you wear no pants, the only thing you got left to lose is your shirt. Bye.